An electrochemical cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy. It is made by combining two half cells. A half cell comprises an element in two different oxidation states. The conversion of the elements from one oxidation state to the other gives rise to the redox reaction that results in the release of electrical energy. In this video, three different half cells will be seen, those of copper, zinc and iron metals and the respective 2 plus ions in solution. Two half cells can be combined as shown. The cell potential can be measured by the voltmeter. Watch the video to see how to set up the cell and to measure its cell potential. For each experiment, record which metal is plugged into the COM port of the multimeter and the value of the measured voltage, including its sign, plus or minus. You can work out which metal acted as the electron donor or acceptor using the sign of the measured voltage. If the measured voltage was positive, the metal that donated electrons was plugged into the COM port. If negative, the electron acceptor was plugged into the COM port. The standard electrode potential E0 of a half cell is the EMF of a half cell compared with the standard hydrogen half cell, 
measured at 298 Kelvin, with solution concentrations of 1 mol per decimeter cube and a gas pressure of 100 kilopascals. Here are the standard electrode potentials for the three half cells. The more negative the E0 value, the more likely the metal is to donate electrons and to act as a reducing agent. The standard cell potential can be calculated using the formula shown. E0 cell is equal to E0 of the positive electrode minus E0 of the negative electrode. The positive electrode is the one with the more positive E0 value and it contains the oxidizing agent or the electron acceptor. Conversely, the negative electrode is the one with the more negative E0 value and contains the reducing agent or electron donor. Find the expected cell potential for each of the cells seen in this video. You may like to pause the video whilst you do your calculations. How do the calculated values compare with the measured values? Suggest reasons for any discrepancies.